and welcome to a new week of Lent Reflections. This week we're going to consider the theme of going deeper in community. I think it's true that all people, whether they profess any Christian faith or not, have a natural desire to be in community of one sort or another. In fact, I wonder if some of the mental illness that's so prevalent in our society stems from the fact that many people don't feel that they're a part of something bigger than themselves, that is, part of a community. Cultural voices tell us that the individual is king, personal choice is paramount, and personal achievement is the measure of a person. But Christians are a part of the kingdom of God, and therefore can expect God's requirements for living to be the unexpected opposites of those driving forces. We certainly see the subversion of God's kingdom at work in the early church in the book of Acts. Today I want to focus on the theme of meeting together and Acts chapter 2 and verse 46 tells us that day by day as they spent much time together in the temple they did a series of things that some of the themes of this week will explore. But for now Notice the simple fact that they did spend much time together. Had they suddenly worked out the secret of getting along with everyone all the time? Had the Holy Spirit, who had been poured out upon them on the day of Pentecost, supernaturally allowed them to have irresistible, sparkling personalities? I think it's much more likely that they came together because they were drawn by that same Spirit to be the body of Christ on earth, in the absence of Jesus' own crucified, risen and ascended body. Notice too where they came together. Our verse tells us that it was in the temple. In some ways this is strange because they themselves were God's new temple and so they no longer needed a specific building to express their identity as his people. But these were early days and we must allow them time to think through and discover these things for themselves, which they did as the New Testament continues to unfold. So for them, the temple was the natural meeting place in their new identity as it would have been in their old identity as part of the nation of Israel. Presumably they weren't there to play tiddlywinks or eat McDonald's, but to worship God together. They were caught up in the excitement and drama of God's decisive act of redemption and recreation that he had wrought through his son, Jesus Christ. What a time to live in. How can we continue to express something of that excitement as we too seek to meet together to bring glory to God? I often think that one of the most difficult places to express this in community is in the church members meeting. It can so often be a place of personality, persuasion, sometimes argument, rather than the expression of unity and community that we are called to. But once again, does it not give us the opportunity to demonstrate something more, something different? As Baptists, we come together to discern the mind of Christ on a matter. In other words, to work together to understand what God might be saying on any particular topic or concern. This can be achieved through discussion, but there are other elements to this. Worship, prayer, scripture reading, testimony, time for reflection, Elements that could make this meeting seem much more like the other meetings that the church engages in week by week. And if the point of the members meeting is to know what God is saying to the church, might the items on the agenda actually be much wider than those we are used to? As in my experience, God never limits himself in the things he wants to draw my attention to. May God bless you and give you fresh insight and excitement as we reflect on what it means to go deeper in community this week.